Happy Friday, you guys. I'm getting ready to go to an event. So I just wanted to bring you guys in here so y'all can watch me get ready. So this is a upload, no, film, edit, upload type of day situation. So um, today's video was going to be a testing new product video. And it was a total, total, total fail. This is the NYX Butter Gloss, the clear one. It was a total fail, y'all. And I hate I have to refilm it. But I do have the clips. I'm going to save the clips that I have on my card and just do like overlays so you guys can see my initial reaction to the products. But um, what am I looking for? Oh, I already did my brows. So while I was sitting here getting ready, like before I even got the camera, I was doing my brows. I already did my base, um, which is my serum, moisturizer, primer. I use the NARS Soft Matte Primer. Um, and then the SPF I have on, which is under the primer, is the um, Watermelon Glow SPF. But I, um, and you guys can probably hear Robert in the background. He's watching, I think he's watching some TikToks. But anyway, um, while he's supposed to be working, but <laughs> I am, what I was trying to say, yeah, before I got the camera, I was doing my face and then I thought to myself, well, I guess you guys could just watch me get ready. Like this could be a video I could film, like I could film this, right? So that is what I'm doing. I am filming myself getting ready for the day and I think I'll have some time to actually um, edit this and upload it. If not, there won't be a video today because <laughs> like I said, the video that I filmed for today was a total fail. Like my camera was messing up um, and I just kept having to stop and I just got, I was just over it at that point. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to refilm it for you guys and then have that video up on another day. I was kind of behind this week with filming because for one, I wasn't feeling good because um, my period had started and I just be out for the count when my period is here. But yeah, so I was kind of behind this week, but it is all right. I try not to beat myself up when it comes down to like being behind on filming because it's okay you know life happens it is okay but yeah i just like to clean up under the brows with this concealer i actually like this better than the kevin aquan concealer i'm gonna try my best to not have to edit this um because I really don't want to edit, to be completely honest. Oh, I want to show y'all my outfit too. So we will do that. And then like, forget, we'll do a whole get ready with me. I already threw my wig on. I washed my wig, air, let it air dry. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I'm just going to pull it up and like, I just have it up with these little Laura Mercier um, clips. But I'm going to put rubber bands up here so I can have like little pigtails. You guys have seen it like that before. So I think I'm going to do that because I honestly don't want anything in my face I want it like this and then I'll probably bring some baby hairs up but not slick them down I'm just gonna have it like kind of like little natural looking flyaway baby hairs so I'll do that um but yeah let's do makeup forever HD skin foundation Oop, crap dropping stuff but yeah let's do this today I was gonna do my NARS but I've been wearing the NARS so much I kind of want to give it a break the NARS like reflecting so we're just gonna do makeup forever these are my two favorite ones anyway my current favorite foundations I'm gonna do this today so y'all can see there's literally nothing in the background of this room this is my beauty room I have not done anything to it <laughs> I've literally neglected this room y'all all I do in here is work out. I have my little, well, y'all can't see the floor. I have like my workout stuff on the floor and do my makeup. That's all I do in this room. And I just, I've been putting more attention to other areas in the house because I feel like this is not like top priority right now. 
but eventually I will finish up this room so that way I can do like a beauty room tour. I just don't know what to do to the room because <laughs> it's like bigger than the one that I had and it's kind of overwhelming. So I'm like, what do I do to this room? What do I put in here? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a freshly washed wig. So the lace is freshly washed, which honestly, it's not that bad. You can't see it. Well, you can a little bit when I do that. But I used to, um, it was like a lot of bronzer in the lace, which made it like, it made it look more natural because it blended in with my forehead because all the makeup that was still in the lace. And now, I'm gonna have to touch it up with a little bit of bronzer. Just the front part, the part is still good. And I know you guys have been asking me about this wig. Truth is, I don't remember. Like this is my old wig, you guys. This is the one that I was wearing that was like the long one. I just cut it in a bob. And I wanna say it's from Asterian, Asterian, Asteria, Asteria hair. I wanna say that's where I got this wig from, Asteria hair.com and I just got the body wave one you just type in body wave and it should come up on there um I'm gonna use I have my bag right here because I had some of the stuff downstairs I was filming and I think my concealer is in here yet Elf Cosmetics. I just got another one because I am almost out of this. So I'm just scraping the sides of it. Girl, I'll go through this concealer like crazy. So this is not a makeup tutorial. This is just a regular, regular. Get ready with me. I'm using my usual products. Nothing new maybe a couple of new things like lip products or something like that but when uh what is that eyelash when i'm usually like usually when i'm leaving going somewhere having to be somewhere for a few hours i like to use the products that i know last so yeah i don't try to um i don't try to use new foundations or new concealers when i'm going to you know go to an event or something like that so yeah we're just gonna stick to the basics today using the same old products mm -mm -mm. so the event is in Atlanta so it's in the city which isn't too far because I live on the outskirts of Atlanta. I don't live like dead center Atlanta. So, yeah. I am going to use, I should have just put this stuff in my freaking drawer. Let's use Laura Mercier. The one I've been using anyway. You also get this. I am wearing all white which is probably not the best thing to do because <laughs> Aunt Flo is in town. But I should be good. I should be good. Because I really don't want to try to find something else to wear. Like I, I'd have to dig, try stuff on just to see if it looks good together. So I'm just going to wear all white with Maybe like some black heels or I got this um, this pair of heels from Zara. They're like clear. I think I'm going to wear those because I feel like clear goes with everything. So I'll probably wear those. And then the bag I'm carrying is probably going to be like, that'll probably be the only color that I'm wearing is the bag. But who knows, I might just end up grabbing a black bag or a nude bag to keep it neutral because <laughs> I love neutral, neutral, neutral. Mm. Okay. Alright, 
so this powder i really wish nars didn't discontinue well the color it's called sunstone it's a light reflecting powder but they discontinued this color i noticed that they do have actually one of you guys told me about this they have this shade in the loose powder but I prefer the pressed powder. I mean, I've never tried. I'm looking for my brush. There it is. I've never tried the um, NARS loose powder. Well, at least not like this color. I've tried the transparent one, which is okay. But I prefer the pressed over anything. I don't want... Ooh, I shouldn't have done that because... I'm wearing a white blazer. Well, it's not gonna touch my neck. I usually bring the powder down on my neck right here. So I don't wanna do that. I did get under here though, but that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bring it down because I feel like it kind of rubs on my clothes when I do that. So I'm not gonna do that, especially today since I'm wearing the white. But yeah, girl, I tried the Danessa Myricks Serum Skin Foundation. So that was the video that was supposed to go up today. I'm so sad about it. But I tried that. I tried, um, y'all will see it because I'm still going to post the video. I'll just have the clips um, while, where I was applying the file because I stopped at the concealer. So I was still pretty early on into the video. But I just wish... My camera wasn't acting like it was. Um, now, you guys are still asking about this brush. It's a Sonia Kashuk powder brush, which needs to be cleaned. Um, I'm going to take another Sonia Kashuk brush and I am going to. Where is that? There it is. Let me use my cream bronzer from Anastasia beauty blender has cream bronzers and I saw it on Sephora I ordered it and then they canceled my order and I'm thinking maybe they wasn't maybe it wasn't supposed to be on Sephora at that time because now when you go to it like it's not even they don't even have it listed on Sephora anymore so I'm thinking that they saw an order come in I probably wasn't even the only one that made an order but I'm thinking they saw the orders come in and maybe it wasn't supposed to be available yet and they canceled the orders. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking though. But it's so weird. I want to try it. And I ended up ordering the darker one, the darker shade. So look how the bronzer just, like it doesn't even look like I have on, well if I look down you can see it. You can see a little bit, but it's cool. I don't even care. Um, there we go. There we go. But yeah, I ended up ordering the darker shade in that bronzer. Just to try it out for you guys. But now I can't try it. Because they canceled the order. That was going to be in the video where I was trying out the Danessa Myricks, um foundation and all the other new products, but it's fine. But I will order it as soon as it is available. Um, as soon as it is available, I will order it and do a review for you guys. So I want to clean up the side like this. Hopefully I do. I think I'll have time to actually edit this and post it for you guys today because this is all I got to do. Just do this, get dressed, and I'm done. Put on perfume. Cause I'm not doing anything to my hair, but put the little rubber bands in it. Like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, um, I'm going to take the little bitty side of this Sonia Kashuk's um, brush and get my nose. Like so.
I think this foundation is um, great for photographs. Like if you wanna take pictures, this foundation is it. This is it. The NARS too, but this one photographs really well. And it's also good on camera. Like it looks really good on camera if you're filming videos and stuff because it just makes the skin look perfect. Like perfect. It almost looks like a filter, you know? All right. So I think that's good. I'm looking in a little mirror down here, but I'm in front of a freaking mirror. Make it make sense. Well, I just need something closer because this is kind of far away. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, I don't really use eyeshadow much anymore. Um, but what I have been using is this NARS, uh, it's called the Blush Bronzer Duo in the shade Summer Unrated. No, in the shade Dominant. So it's the Summer Unrated one though, the, the pal uh, palette. And it has the blush and the bronzer. I don't really like the bronzer. I mean, the bronzer is, is pretty, but I feel like it's too red on my complexion. So I've been using this as um as eyeshadow it looks pretty as eyeshadow so i just take it and just pack it on like that because y'all know i like to use bronzer as eyeshadow anyway so that's what i've been doing damn do i want to wear lashes today i really don't want to wear lashes but i feel like it'll complete the look since I am going to an event. Yeah, we'll wear lashes today. Okay. When I, um, when I wear lashes, I like to put eyeliner on my waterline, but when I'm not wearing lashes, I don't do that. So I'm gonna take, would this be cute? No, that'll be doing too much. Let's just do black. Let's just do black. The Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. I take a very, very small amount of it, just right here mm. Mm, go quick hurry 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 before it starts to leak my eyes be watering so i just take a little bit right there in the corner i don't pull it all the way over just a little i might have to get up to get those lashes there in our bathroom Mm -hmm. A little bit more over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a little bitty brush, a little, 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 little bitty brush, this little pencil shader brush, and I like to use a dark color for this, so. Let's use this, Pat McGrath. <clears throat> Pat McGrath Deep Velvet Eyeshadow. Does she still have these? Are they still on the website? Just a single shadow. I just smudge it under the eye where I applied the eyeliner to make it look smoky. Boom, boom, boom. And then we add the lashes and then we are pretty much done. No blush today. No blush. Just bronzer. Um, let me go 
grab those lashes out the bathroom. I shall return. I just put the lashes on to save time. These are the same lashes I always use, you guys. The Ardell 778s. And this is my second time wearing this pair. They get, I feel like they get better and better the more I wear them. So I don't wear a pair of lashes one time and then throw them away. I wear them over and over and over. Maybe like five or six times before I throw them away. NARS Climax Mascara. I'm putting this on my bottom lashes and the top lashes too. Because I usually coat the lash, um, my real lashes after I put the fake lash on. It's just a personal preference. Okay, I do a lot of coats, as y'all can see, because I want my lashes to show, you know? Now I do the top. And I only press it into my lashes at the top. I don't, I don't apply the mascara on the false lash, because I don't want the false lash to um lose its texture i guess i guess that's what i mean i don't know what i mean but you know what i mean <laughs> um i don't want the fault the light it don't need mascara is what i'm trying to say the false lash does not mean it doesn't need mascara so that's why i don't put it on there i just keep it on my bottom i meant my real lash just kind of press it in when i do it I guess that's good enough. What time is it? Oh, I'm making good timing, I think. I think. <laughs> um, I'm pretty much done. I just gotta um brush this powder away. Tap it in and then, yeah. Do I want to wear blush? What do y'all think? Nah, I don't want blush. I don't want blush, do I? I don't know. Mm. I don't even know where my blush brush is. It's not even up here. Is this it? Did I use blush with this? No. Nah. Let's not do blush. Let's just keep it like this. I say let's not do blush and then I end up looking for blush. I've been using the mess out of this Chanel blush. You can't even see the logo anymore. <laughs> because it is so good. I'm going to use a sponge with this. That's what I've been doing any with it anyway. That's why you can't see the logo because I've been doing this. And I don't know, I like it like this. I like pressing it in with the sponge more than I do with, you know, more than I do using a, um, a brush with it. Cute. This is back in stock too. I looked at I looked it up the other day to see if it was back in stock because I was thinking, should I get another one? Because it is limited edition. And I've been using the mess out of it. So it is back in stock if you want it. I'm gonna take that powder um powder brush that I used and kind of go over it because I got a little heavy handed. And we are done with the complexion. This is all I'm doing with the complexion. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so used to being in front of a window that looking at it right here in front of the vanity lights on the camera, it looks different. Like, it looks a little different. My, I don't know, it just looks different. I'm just so used to looking at my, my viewfinder while sitting in front of a window. Um, okay, 
I am done. The last thing I gotta do is the lips, which I'm gonna do very, very, very last. I'm just gonna use a lip pencil, which is gonna be this one from LA Girl, and then whatever lip color. I think I have one in my purse right now. Um, so I do that last before I, you know. But now it's time to get dressed. So let me show you what I'm wearing. Let me put this up. And I also wanna show you the fragrance I'm wearing. It's probably gonna be the YSL Libre, which I always wear. Um, yeah, I didn't wear that today. Okay, I'm struggling with this. I need to clean up this vanity so bad. It looks a hot mess, but let me show you my outfit. Here is the outfit I'm wearing. So I'm gonna wear this blazer with this Razorback uh, tank. Well, it's a bodysuit under it and both of these are from Express, and then I'm also going to pair it with these white shorts, which are also from Express. And then the shoes, I don't know if I want to wear these with it, which I think will be really cute with maybe like a black bag. Or these right here, the clear Zara. Yeah, let's do the clear because I can do whatever color bag I would. I don't know, let's do clear instead. For my accessories, I'm gonna wear these. These are new. I gotta wash my makeup off of my um, finger, but these are cute studs from Express as well. I think everything I'm wearing is gonna be from Express. I'm gonna put these on and um, I'm also going to wear my YSL Libre fragrance today. Love this stuff. Okay, got the shoes on. I think they're cute with the white. Very simplistic. So this is how it's looking. The mirror is a little dirty, but you guys kind of get the picture. So this is my dilemma. I don't know if I want to do the black bag because there's black in the buttons but I don't know if it goes with the shoe because I really want to do these shoes. If I do a black bag, the um, Dior shoes will look so good with this. And I, will all, I was also thinking this one right here to keep it, you know, do like a monochromatic look because the shoes are kind of tan and the bag is tan. What do y'all think? I mean, I'm already be going to the event by the time this video goes up, but I don't know. I'll probably have to ask Janine because she's gonna be there too. Um, and I'm actually, we're actually gonna go together, but I'll probably take both of these and ask her which one looks better with this outfit. But yeah, I feel like with the black, I would have to wear the black shoes. What do y'all think? I keep asking, what do y'all think? But either way, I feel like it's cute. It's cute, you know? I'm so bloated, y'all. But it's a comfortable, cute, casual outfit. And I really, really like it. So, yeah, but this is... I guess this is the end of today's video. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out and getting ready with me. I want to show y'all the earrings up close. Let me just flip this around. around but look at these earrings it's kind of like um hold on They're right here it's like a cuff look how cute that is well it's a the um the rhinestones is like a cuff and then this gold part is actually the part that has the, um is actual earring <laughs> is what i'm trying to say but it's cute i think it's cute all right, guys, so that is all. I'm done getting ready. Um, kind of out of breath now, but I'm just going to do my lip in the car and I'm going to edit this, try to have it uploaded today for you guys. But thank you guys for hanging out and watching me get ready and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.